Right now at five, Donald Trump's challenge for Russia. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. Targeting Hillary Clinton, days after an email scandal forced a shakeup in the Democratic Party. It's just a total deflection, this whole thing with Russia. Tonight, Trump raises the stakes in the race for the White House. And he did it right here at his golf course in Doral. But what he said is not in line with the rest of the Republican Party, including his own running mate, who says Russia should stay out of U.S. elections. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live tonight in Doral with more of what the Republican presidential nominee had to say. Hank. Well, Ruta Bay, he said that he'd love to read those 30,000 emails he called on Russia to, you know, possibly provide them. It was another Donald Trump press conference, and it certainly did not disappoint. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, the next president of the United States, Mr. Donald J. Trump. In town for some fundraising before he departed to parts to the north, he took time to spar with the national press. One subject, Russia and those WikiLeak emails. If they hacked, they probably have her 33,000 emails. I hope they do. They probably have her 33,000 emails that she lost and deleted, because you'd see some beauties there. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails that are missing. I think you will probably be rewarded mightily by our press. Let's see if that happens. If Russia or China or any other country has those emails, I mean, to be honest with you, I'd love to see them. This from the Clinton campaign. This has to be the first time a major presidential candidate has actively encouraged a foreign power to conduct espionage against his political opponent. This has gone from being a matter of curiosity and a matter of politics to becoming a national security issue. Trump has said he'd like to have smooth relations with Russia and President Putin, who he says would respect him, Trump, not Clinton. I think he does respect me, and I hope I get along great with him. But the campaign had nothing to do with the leaked emails that might have come from Russia, he says. I have nothing to do with Russia. I said that, I said that Putin has much better leadership qualities than Obama, but who doesn't know that? Okay, and Donald Trump active on Twitter right after that press conference. He uh, tweeted out, if Russia or any other country or person has Hillary Clinton's 33,000 illegally deleted emails, perhaps they should share them with the FBI. And remember, Julian Assange of WikiLeaks says there's more to come. Well, meanwhile, Trump left here, and he is in Pennsylvania later on in Ohio tonight. Reporting, I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.